be taking a look at the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Autobot Drift. And what I'd like to do for you in this video is show you how to change him from his Bugatti car mode into his robot mode. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, on the underside here, if you happen to have the swords attached, just go ahead and pull those out. And probably the safest way to do so is by the handles on the bottom because this is a soft sort of bendable plastic and in doing so just protecting um, the blade right here um, because if you look at this one specifically um, it happens to be bent and it's not from uh, myself pulling it out from the blade, it just happened to come uh, packaged inside the box like that. Um, and this one, not as much, but, but still a bit of a bend. But just to uh, help preserve that and protect it, the um, easiest way would just be uh, pulling out by the handle first. So anyways, we'll just put those off to the side. Now, to change him, just go ahead and begin to pop the doors out like that and do the same for this and go ahead and just continue folding them and they're actually a double hinge so um, you're basically just folding over like that and the same for the other one like that and then go ahead here in the back and just begin to split apart the rear end and what that's going to do is help free up the roof of the car itself and what you'll see is that the whole top part of the car will begin to free up and just a little bit of fidgeting to, to, to help with that um, we'll just go ahead and raise it like that and then take the front part here and just fold under until you have it oops until you have it bent completely he's he's a little bit fidgety uh, in his initial transformation process but just like that and then take the roof here and just accordion it on the back end like that and then we'll come down here to the legs and just split them apart and then take these black pieces right here and just fold them down and those will become his feet and then on these panels here just go ahead and fold them or rotate them back um, they'll come to a rest they won't lock up but uh, just come to a stopping point like that and then take this piece right here and just fold it over and do the same with the other so rotate and then fold over like that and then we'll just take the uh, roof here that we had folded up and just rotate it like so oops I'm sorry let me zoom out on that uh, what I did was it was like this originally and then uh, just go ahead and rotate it up like that and then come around here to the front and just pull or begin to pull the arms out and then fold down up here in these joints or pull them out I mean and then go ahead and pull down on the nose of the cab and in the back here you'll see its head come out just go ahead and flip that up like that and then this back roof here there's a piece inside and all you're going to do is just bring that out a little bit like like that uh, here it is right there and then go ahead and just plug it into a tab that's up under his, the back of his neck and that will hold everything together and so pretty much I just stand them up 
and here you have drift. Um, these two swords here, there's actually four of them, there's two more that are plugged in underneath the, um, the underside of the roof. And pretty much there's a variation as to how you can have these. You can have the two swords in his hand and then the two smaller swords uh, tucked into the back. Um, also there's a, another, uh, there's two holes here. You can also put them back here or you can take these and put them up here. And then also there are these two tabs on each side on the bottom part of this top panel and there are two holes in the swords and you can plug them in uh, really to your own your own preference however you choose to display him but pretty much here you have drift Overall, Drift ends up being a pretty fun figure to have in hand. He's got a lot of flexibility and poseability with his joints, which makes him a pretty easy transformation process between his Bugatti car mode and his robot mode. Um, whether just displaying on a shelf with your other Transformers collection or playing with in hand, he's got a really interesting uh, and unique design aesthetic going on with him. And just for a quick size comparison, here is Drift and here is Transformers Animated Samurai Prowl.